Good morning, everyone. It's Chris from Salsa City Art. Hope everybody's doing great on a Sunday morning, afternoon, wherever you are, or evening. This is a short video on the weekly outlook for September 10th in the coming week. Um, you can find us at Solstice, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. You can DM us. Remember, we use adaptive algorithm and AI for side market, up market, and down market. Remember, we're not a broker dealer. Past performance doesn't give us any indication of future results. Ask us how we can you can get in contact with us to help you out and understand everything. Hit the subscribe button and the like and give us your commentary. Let's go to the first slide. This was done in January 1st of 2023. I have all the sectors of the S&P 500 on the top as well. A couple of equities to take a look at. Remember, we trade what we see on the charts. Use these instruments to help you keep you in line where the market is in relationship to these different sectors, whether it's in the technology, consumer products, biotech, staples, whatever they are, crude oil and whatever. Let's go to the second slide. This was another one I did in February 4th and I gave a little bit more on the commodity side, the electronically traded fund, as well as ETFs, as well as stocks. What I want you to do here is break it down. Remember to use the 50 simple moving average in the 18 on the weekly and daily to keep you in line for the upside or downside with no bias. We'll go over a little bit more in detail on one or two charts coming next. Remember, we're to get in contact with us. Okay, let's go. Showing the SPX and the NASDAQ. This is the Fortune 500 company and the NASDAQ 100. You can use SPY or QQQ. You can see on the weekly basis, we had last year the reset. This year from January uh, uh, 3rd, we continued higher. We got we got to the high of uh, July 17th. We reset, trying to recover, but the 18 SMA on the weekly chart holding the market up. Between the 18 and 50, there's a long way to go. The 50 has not crossed the 116 SMA. This is where if things do turn south and the interest rates in the bearing account, IEF, J and K, or TNX, if interest rates go up, or TBT, and the par value of the bonds go lower, we're going to expect that 50% retracement and the 116 SMA to catch up with still coming back in. But if we hold the 18 SMA and reverse back up, trade what the markets give you, don't be biased to one side. Okay, let's go now. Uh, take a look at the IEF. And I wanted to do this with the uh, short term maturity 7 to 10 year we can see that the par value of those bonds are low but if they're going to settle down in this area and reverse back up and interest rates do not increase above 5 and a quarter and I want to use TBT to show you where we are you can see that TBT consolidated broke up and came back down similar situation where the 18 is so far away from the par value of those uh, interest rate bearing cap at 3482 Let's take a look at the dollar DXY, and that is the American dollar, oops, dollar sign DXY. We can see that the American dollar has broken above that 104.36. This is a very important area between the 50 and the 18 SMA. You can see that it cleared the cloud. It was zigzagging in a downtrend, and eventually we broke up. Pay attention to where the commodities are in relationship to the Aussie dollar, Japanese dollar, and American in relationship to American because money's coming in to U.S. because of the interest rates and the strength in the American dollar. Let's go to the micro CL. And what I want to show you in the micro crude oil, we have broken out of that 8382 area for a while. We are looking for the upside of this oval up here. We had marked it prior in the prior videos. Pay attention in case we do end up losing the 85, 8650 and 8550. That will send oil back down, but it has a target of $92, $93 in crude oil. Let's go now to the micro ES and I'll do the micro NASDAQ. I want to keep it simple and short. We're going to get rid of those channels that I had from previously. You can see we broke out of this channel. We're going to go to the daily chart to show you how it looks like. Then we're going to break it down to a shorter time frame. If I zoom in here after the consolidation and coming retesting partial gap, which was never filled, we reversed up, came back, retested, broke up. We are in an uptrend. If I get a linear regression uptrend here and I connect this uh, this candle, the peak to it, to this one or even this one or even here, we are in a linear regression uptrend. At the same time, we have this low here. Do we 
consolidate in this area or even if I activate this one and grab this control point to this one we're still in an uptrend in a way coming back down but the most important thing that we are in consolidation coming back on on Friday it was a doji where it held a positive consistent the 4500 do we hold or not we have to pay attention to what the market offer us let's go now break it down into four hour chart we're going to go intraday we can do 20 days we don't have to go that far we do four hour chart and what i want to do in the four hour show you how to use a measured move to understand where the level highs and lows are if i take the prior week's low here and the prior week's high here this is a regular fib that most people will use but I do not want to use that. I want to use a little bit more on a, of an aggregated uh, uh, measured move to keep us in line when we are trading these levels. So what we can do is grab this one. Okay, hold on. We're going to adjust it. We'll adjust it, make it look a little bit more easier for us on the charts there we go that looks a little bit better on the four hour we are in a downtrend what i'm going to do is go get a measuring tool this is the measuring tool where is the sunday high this is this monday high you can see it that was sunday range this was friday i usually measure from of Sunday through Friday the prior week each week for the coming week so if I take a look at the high and low you can see where the levels are where the 50 percent is we came back to the 20 percent range and we bounced off if I zoom down and what I'm going to do is just going to show you how to uh, adjust it on weekly basis this is your 80 and this is your chart so what I do edit the property I extend it let's say 10 days out and we do that activate the property move it to the top that's your 80 20 rule and same time if i duplicate the drawing and put it up here i know where my ranges for the week are between the zero and the hundred in relationship to the moves up and move down we can see that the 50 sma is here and the 200 the 18 is trying to do catch up do we continue high or do we come back down we are in a downtrend at the same time we're on a longer time frame we're still intact we have not lost it let's take a mic take a look at the micro and q micro and q and i'll do iwm which is the etf for the small cap we can see that we were in an uptrend up here even if i draw a channel and what you do grab this control point with this one and you got at least an uptrend channel or you can activate this uptrend to activate it grab it oops activate it grab it we can see that the channel is a little bit wider and even if i duplicate it or grab another one here to this area here you can see we are in that linear regression uptrend on the charts in the russell but we had a consolidation of a weaker uh, came back in tried to recover so my my tuesday high uh is up here and my friday my thursday low is here so if i do a measured move you can see where the ranges are in relationship to the prior two weeks in the nasdaq 100 if i take a look at the iwm IWM fell a little bit sharper back to the consolidation of the prior week before the rally we came back to the low if this is going to give us support on the weekly chart or the daily chart we have to pay attention to that 200 SMA 116 holding us if not the 250 will if it doesn't we have to come back to the 50 SMA to continue higher if not we fall back to this consolidation here where we broke out of on small cap let's take a look at the BTC bitcoin and i wanted to show bitcoin a little bit we were in an uptrend for a while you can see that linear regression channel every time we looked at the 31 32 000, we fell back down if i zoom in this area we had this gap down we refilled it up fell back in range we are consolidating in the 25 000. we have to pay attention on the daily chart is the 200 SMA going to hold us up or the 250 where the breakout happened at the 23 760? Do they find support here or do we fall further out? We're retesting this gap up here. You can see there's a gap here. Usually those gaps, you can get a box or an oval. Grab this control point here and this one here and you can edit the property make it uh, yellow extend it two three days so you can see the level where the gap is like here it's filled and we don't have anything down here we filled this gap so there's a gap here that's a virgin control point 
if it comes back and retests the backside of this channel or do we hold this area to continue back up in BTC? Let's go back uh, to micro NQ. And what I want, oops, micro NQ. And what I wanted to show here that the micro NQ is on the daily chart below the 50 in uh, above uh, the 18 SMA, but in consolidation, we have to pay attention to that channel here the, and the 8090 and the 61.8 in order to continue higher or do we fall through, come back, retest this portion of this gap. You can see there's a tiny little gap here on the chart. If I put it, you can see where it is. And if I edit the property and I go to the right couple of days, you can see and we can put a yellow marker on it which is this gap here. If it filled, you got the gap, so no longer valid. You can see it on the right side. It has filled here, retested it, consolidated, broke up, came back in. Are we still in an uptrend? Yes, on the long-term chart, on the weekly chart, the annual chart, going far out on the charts, what we can do is understand that the channel is in an uptrend, even in this trend, coming back from the January low. We are in consult, even if we fall back to the 38.2, it is healthy to find support to continue higher. Remember, I'm not biased to being bullish or bearish. We're gonna trade what we see. And if you have any questions and you wanna get in contact with us, you can reach us at Solstice or by contacting us directly at the number. Hit the like button and subscribe to YouTube for a weekly basis for free. Take care.